Why do folks on the left see refugees as ignorant, fragile snowflakes to be protected? I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. First, it was the air show. Now it's fireworks. Apparently, people on the left think refugees are so delicate that typical Canadian activities need to be banned, changed, or warned of in order for them to survive. It was a couple of weeks ago I told you about Craig Damien Smith, a PhD candidate at the University of Toronto and someone who writes in the Toronto Star from time to time. He had an op-ed calling for the air show at the CNE to be shut down. Canada's biggest air show because it was antiquated, because it was full of military jets and because it might trigger bad responses from people such as refugees that have fled war zones. As I pointed out to him at the time, it was a ridiculous argument to be made. Those that have fled war zones, those who were oppressed by awful armies, like the folks in ISIS, well, they know the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. And having the good guy jets that might have helped liberate them, might have helped push back against their oppressors, uh, those are the types of jets that they would welcome. But now we've got something else going on. A city councillor in Saskatoon worried about fireworks being a trigger war, a trigger for PTSD in refugees. This is Pat Laurie. She's a War II counselor in Saskatoon. And over the weekend, there was a big fireworks display in that city. Well, she took to Twitter to talk about how great it was, but also to talk about how she hoped there were warnings for refugees. Let me read directly from her Twitter account. Best YXE fireworks ever tonight. I hope someone warned the Syrian refugees that the bombs, bangs, and other noise wasn't from weapons. Of course, that led to a lot of ridicule, first on Twitter and then on talk radio eventually. But Lori just stood by her comment. She said, amazed that so many people do not know the connection of, uh, between PTSD of war victims and soldiers in fireworks, which often triggers anxiety. Uh, okay, that could happen. And I know people that have dealt with PTSD. It affects different people in different ways. For some, being in a crowded mall can set them off. But fireworks? Do they really have to be warned? Do they have to be told that it's not weapons? Not according to one of the organizations that is helping deal with refugees in that city. Ali Ubakar is the executive director of Saskatoon Open Door Society. He told local radio station CKOM, they can see the fireworks. People know these are celebratory. How ridiculous are you that you think someone seeing fireworks go off up in the air doesn't automatically know what they are. Do you think they don't have fireworks in Syria? Do you think these people have never seen them? Do you think that they automatically will believe that there's a war starting again? I have no problem with warning folks about things, but um, the executive director of the Saskatoon Open Door Society says part of what they do when they bring in refugees is tell them about Canadian customs, including firework celebrations, when they are, what goes on in the summer. There's no need for all of this. It's just another attempt by somebody on the left to well, portray the people that they wanted us to bring in so badly as helpless, as ignorant, as fragile snowflakes in need of protection. It's ridiculous. It's time for it to stop. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.